Jesus says in the Bible, consider the ant. Why does he say that? Well, there's a couple of theories. One of them is that if you're a queen and you uphold the mother's law, you consider the queen and you're a moral woman. And then the soldier protects you. Well, primarily, the queen spends her time having children. Go forth, be multiplied, fruitful be ye, fruitful multiply. Then there's the other side of it. The queens take, the aunt takes prisoners, slaves, slaves to the law, whatever way you want to look at it. Then you have the other people, which are the two the Danon, which were driven underground, the rat people who dug tunnels from Scotland all the way down to the Khazarian Empire who prize above all things metal work, gold, leprechauns, genomes and magic mixing of things, splicing DNA, all of these things, um, the plough, you see the plough all over Dublin, the um, Republican movement, these are a hybrid race, these are the enemies of God himself, God doesn't like them, God wants rid of them, God wants shot at them, except for the Amalekites, I think said something about the Amalekites will become a blessing in the Bible, but you have to be able to read the Bible to know which ones to spare and which ones to slaughter in the, in the judgment, you know, that's why we have to be diligent and we have to know the Bible, consider the ant, consider the ant, Go forward, and then the ant, any of the ants that are in the hive, that are in the tribe, and they they, they don't they don't walk well with the tribe. They were taken prisoner or the sold. They got rid of. That's what happens. How foolish Galatians who has bewitched you. So consider the ant. Before it's too late. Frodo Jack the hive bread movie is going to be really interesting because it goes to hive breads, bulls of Bashan. Jesus being a fun loving criminal and in, a criminal in the eyes of their law but not in the eyes of obviously not in the eyes of God because he's, he's God he's God's son. He's only begotten son. So and now he's in he's in heaven. He's gone to heaven to prepare a place for us with the Father. And none go to the Father but to him. He's like going through a car wash, you have to wash clean in the blood of Christ or you don't get into heaven. Doesn't matter who you are or what you think you are, that's the way it goes. And if you're a Muppet he would have called you a Muppet. He said you step away from me, Muppet or if you're a fraggle. He said he like to use the word morons. Morons was a good was a word that he liked to use in Hebrew. Okay. Think about it. If you're capable of critical thinking, think about it. Frodo Jack over and out. Hmm.